Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Classics Preternia Disguise He Man. For those who signed up for the 2011 Eternian Collectors Club subscription, this is your bonus figure Preternia Disguise He Man. This figure is based off a design from the classic mini comic The Powers of Grayskull The Legend Begins. In this issue, He Man traveled back in time to Preternia and wore this outfit to help keep him disguised. Preternia He Man comes inside the standard Masters Classics Blister Bubble, holding one incredibly cool accessory that we'll see in more detail shortly. The back of that packaging shows off more figures from the line, as well as a bio for Preternia Disguise He-Man. Now He-Man is still the same basic design that we are used to by now, except now he is covered by a new cloak. The head sculpt does appear to be new, but still resembles the same He-Man sculpt we have already seen. This time around, his eyes are hidden behind a black mask, and his head is under a hood. The hood does seem to be a separate piece, but it is not meant to be removable. So here we are with Preternia Disguise He-Man. Another He-Man figure, but one that is designed a little differently than the other He-Man figures we've received so far. So let's take a little bit of a closer look at what we've got here. And uh, just so we know, the ankles are still using the old ankle joints. So I believe that Preternia He-Man is supposed to be the last figure before this change was implemented. So even though we've got Vicor and we got Bo with the new ankle joints, this figure was still produced using the old joints. But going forward, everybody should have those new ankles. So, but just so you know, this is just like what we've seen with the other He-Man figures so far. Now the buck and the build of the figure does actually seem to be exactly the same as what we've seen with the other He-Man figures. Um, notice that he is wearing the two short bracelets, like the uh, comic two-pack He-Man, instead of the one long one and the one short one, so that's kind of worth noting. Uh, and then also the shirt piece is actually a removable armor bit that fits over the standard buck that you can unsnap by pulling off these little hinges here and sliding it right off the figure. Also, the, uh, the neck peg, I noticed, was kind of the taller neck peg, uh, similar to what we saw with guys like Battle Armor He-Man. Comparing him with the regular He-Man, it is a, a little bit taller. I don't know if it's because of the hood on the head or what the reasoning was for that, but because of that, when you remove this and they got the taller neck peg, actually, this might be the reason for the taller neck peg, but you can see he does kind of have a little bit of a bobble going on. It's not real bad, but it's because of that longer neck peg that it happens. And lastly, he's got this little uh, bottom piece to his tunic here, the skirt, if you will. Uh, it is made of kind of a rigid plastic. It's got slits in the side, um, but as you can see, the articulation is hindered, and where this is most going to get in the way... Not Battle Cat, I know, but close, right? He does not fully sit down on the cats. Um, the skirt does get in the way of that. He can sit up there, but as you can see, he doesn't have a very stable stance on there. He's kind of getting blocked and hindered by the skirt and falls off easily. So I don't know how big of an issue that's going to be if anybody even wanted to put their Preternia He-Man on a Battle Cat, but I figured you guys would want to see that, uh, that the skirt does get in the way just a little bit of the lower leg articulation. He-Man includes three accessories, the first of which is the one he should never be without, the Power Sword. The sword is the same two-tone silver style that we have seen in the past. One complaint that I have here is that there is no holster on He-Man's back. Since He-Man comes with two other accessories that you'll probably want to display him holding, that leaves nowhere for this power sword to go. Next up is the Bionitops Blaster, as seen in the mini-comic. 
This newly sculpted weapon is quite large and can be held in He-Man's hand to recreate the scene from the comic. This is one of those extra accessories that you may not even think about ever being included, but is incredibly awesome to have. And last but certainly not least, a bonus accessory. A very special bonus accessory. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cosmic Key. Based on the design of the Cosmic Key from the 1987 Masters of the Universe live action film, this new version was included with He-Man with the explanation that this is how he traveled back in time. Comparing this to the original Cosmic Key that came with the vintage Gwildor, you can see that this new one is much more film accurate. It's not entirely accurate to the one in the movie, but it's close enough. It has an amazing vac metalized finish on the many prongs, which makes the overall appearance absolutely amazing. Preternia Disguise He-Man is one of those figures that is perfect as an extra reward for those who signed up for the subscription service. It's awesome to get a figure that's based off of a vintage mini-comic appearance, and accessories like the Bionotops Blaster and especially the Cosmic Key make this figure even more worth it. Seriously, that Cosmic Key is my new favorite Masters Classics accessory. I'm just in love with it. And on top of all of this, Preternia Disguise He-Man will also ship with a new poster map of Etheria. Remember, this figure will not be available for sale on MattyCollector.com. It is only being sent to those who purchased the 2011 subscription. And in my opinion, he is one heck of a cool bonus. Until next time. Thank you.